Hello everyone, here is Roscoe Pierre from Team Infinity and today in this video I want to talk about the uh, IF-83 and I want to talk my uh, my race from uh, a week ago, the Winternets in uh, in America and um, this is the car that I used there um, yeah, for those who, who didn't um, follow me uh, a week ago we had the Winternets there uh, in Florida, in Arcadia at the track from uh, Greg Esser and um, I will show you first uh, a few laps on the track and then you will have an idea of uh, about the traction, about how tight the track was and with the boards how difficult it was. So uh, have a look first. Yeah, here you can see uh, the track, it's, uh, it's very fast, also uh, some tight corners, uh, very good traction. This was uh, qualification 3 and set the fastest time. Sweeper and on the end of the straight, full power, and uh, you can see the car handles very nice. Have uh, have enough steering, and yeah, it was very good. So yeah, um, what I uh, told uh, told you a few weeks ago, uh, preparing for the for the race, um, just expecting high high grip. Um, I um, have now the car from uh, the race that I won, and uh, I want to show you uh, on the end my setup and uh, what I all did. Uh, to uh, to achieve the, um, the setup uh, that I that I ran in the finals and also in the qualification um, this was basically my car from the world's Japan and I started with that setup and soon I, I found the car had a lot of steering so the balance on this track was uh, more to the front so the front had a lot of bite so uh, it was uh, it was expected to be like that because there's high grip and uh, normally you you lose the rear very easy so yeah in this track um, yeah so a few things I, I tried and uh, that worked really good for me um, I lowered the rear roll center I went to the to the down position and uh, the rear get more planted it's more more stuck it's more stable uh, another thing is um, we had GT cars on the track and we have a lot of marble uh, like the the piece of rubber of the tire uh, got e e quite easily in into the pulleys and on the IF-83 we have the belt tensioners on the pulley but that actually worked not so fine because the the belt sometimes got stuck and even uh, the front belt one time it broke so for this condition when you have marbles on the track that you have rubber in your pulley um, I, I really uh, I really recommend you not to use the, the belt tensioner on the back side and also on the, the front uh, belt um, yeah as you can see I also put uh, 20 gram of uh, weight in the front bumper and it really calms down the car more and it's easier to drive um, and it, it takes out um, the, the, the steering a little bit but in this track what I said uh, we had a lot of steering the, the, the rear was quite loose so the 20 gram really helped um, yeah I tried a softer roll bar going to 2.8 but that was uh, on power not so stable so I remained the 2.9 in the rear and the 2.3 in the front um, of course I used a heavy battery tray the car just came out of my luggage so uh, that, that's uh, because I don't have the fuel tank and the engine I had to take it out because I put it in the hand luggage um, yeah so um, this is basically what I said the setup of Japan uh, with uh, only a f minor changes uh, also the caster I move it more forward it's again it's more easy to drive because I have already a lot of steering so I I took, I took out the caster in front and it really helps to, to calm down the steering and I also moved uh, I changed the front spring from the SMJ 8.0 I actually ran the 1.96 turn from the the IF 18.2 the standard uh, infinity spring and it really calms down the steering uh, as well so yeah um, at the race it was also additive open additive uh, this was the first time I drove uh, with a 1.8 car with additive so I had um, little experience so I used uh, I used the track additive what was sold at the track and it worked fine for me of course I have a lot of uh, 112 experience from the past so I can I can quite easily adapt to the feel of the car uh, in the beginning of the race I said for myself I didn't want to use the, the tire additive but with additive the car has just more traction and it, you go faster so if the, the competition 
will uh, use it so you you kind of forced to use the additive as well so yeah uh, tire wise I ran the standard matrix tires uh, these are the ones that we usually run at the ENS races uh, it's 32 35 um, nothing special there um, again it was a open tire so it's free free of choice and I, I, I have a feeling that those matrix tires that we run at ENS is not the highest traction that you can have, even with the tire additive. So some, some guys I saw they have a matrix, the U-grip, which is a little bit more fine rubber. I think they have a little bit more traction. So um, that's a good, uh, a good one for next year. If we go again to, um, to the race, the winter nets, I uh, for sure gonna bring even better tires. But again, in the, in the qualification, the car worked really well. Um, after the qualification on Sunday morning, uh, just before the finals, we had rain. And so the track got about a half a second a lap slower. And because I had kind of standard tires, uh, I, I think it, it hurt me a bit more than the others. So uh, I really had to fight for the win. But yeah, the, the balance from the, from the car was, was very easy. Of course, in this type of tracks, it's, um, it's uh, one time you hit the board and the car is finished. So I had to be careful, uh, drive uh, maybe 95%. But yeah, again, the car was, uh, the, the balance of the car was really nice, very good. So I could, I could handle the car easily. Yeah, body shell, this is the Super Diablo. I tried the Hyper Diablo. For me, the Super Diablo feels more planted, more easy to drive. Uh, also, I have a lot of steering, but it's um, it's uh, it's it's easier to uh, to understand where the car is going. Um, it's uh, again, it's more on rail, so that's why I tried the uh, Super Diablo and I used it. Um, yeah, the track width I made it a little bit um, actually narrower narrower than my Japanese uh, the world's uh, setup which I used 252 262 I now had to to compromise the, the width a little bit I uh, decided to run 251 261 um, on the end I think um, on the Sunday traction it could have been even more narrow but on the Saturday when the traction was very high and also on Friday uh, maybe a wider car should have been more easy to drive as well yeah, furthermore, it's um, not so many option parts on this car, just um, quite a standard uh, setup of the IF183. Um, I also do run the 54R uh, rear drive shafts, which is 90 degree angled with a pin. I feel this drive shaft uh, drives more free and more, more smooth. So I choose to run this. In the front it's uh, standard, but it's a 62 millimeter, the little bit longer one because of the width is a little bit longer, uh, wider. Um, yeah, furthermore, um, shock oil 550, 600, uh, kind of uh, standard. Uh, rear upper arm, a little bit shorter. I like this type of feeling when you go off throttle, the car, the car steers. And um, yeah, I also use the uh, rear carbon plate, not the front, but the rear. Feels like it's um, more stable, but uh, without um, uh, losing any steering um yeah that's about it it's uh again my setup is also online you can find it on my page and um yeah what i said before the setup is very similar to japan a few uh slight changes also as well as the ackerman i uh, in japan i ran the ackerman all the way to the front and now it's in the middle position also to smooth out the steering but yeah other than that it's um it's a very good uh, basic setup, I think, that I found for this car. Uh, if you go to Japan or you go to, to America, a um, little bit different traction, different tires, but still uh, a very nice balance. So yeah, it's, um, it was a good race. It was a difficult race, but a good race. I think uh, we had a good pace and um, uh, the car is uh, is easy to drive because in all qualifications I didn't crash and also in the final from half hour I um, I could stay off the board so that was nice so yeah that's uh, my ins and outs from the race in uh, Florida the winter nets it was a nice race uh, very nice track nice people we had a lot of people there racing I think more than 150 um, uh, actually drivers which is good to see for uh, for for like a nitro event. 
so hopefully uh, next year we have the same amount of drivers and hopefully we can uh, we can come again so thank you for watching my video and see you next time